Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand truncate table and drop table command in, in SQL. And these two commands will come under DDL, so data definition language. So what happens with this truncate table is truncate table statement is used to delete the data inside a table. For example, if you take a table, uh, the data that is stored in the table, so the entire data will get deleted in the table so for that the truncate table command is used for example if in this table we are having seven rows six rows some six rows are there for example if you give truncate table table name so the uh, structure is truncate table table name and the table that we have that we have seen in our previous videos is uh, users uh, users if you give this the entire data in the table will get deleted in our users table we have two rows and those two rows will get deleted so all the data in the table will get deleted by using truncate table okay and the next one is the drop table the drop table statement is used to drop the existing table in the database if you want to drop the existing table drop in the sense the structure of the table if you want to delete the structure of that entire table so then that uh, delete uh, then that drop table command is used drop table table name for example if you use drop table users the entire table will get deleted so the existence of the structure of the users table will be deleted from the database okay so this is how these two tables will work let's uh, try to understand the same concept on our uh, examples so first what we will do is uh, we will first select the uh, select users so this table is already existing on our database now what we will do is we will first use the truncate table truncate table uh, command what happens with this that we will try to understand see here okay table truncated again we will select the users no row selected previously we are having these two rows now we have deleted the entire users so now uh, this has been done means these all the rows in the table will get deleted next the command is drop table okay so drop table just the uh, structure is same but we have to use drop table table dropped now again we will try to select the users see here table or view does not exist the entire structure of the database has been deleted but by using truncate table table name uh, users what happened is only the data in the database has been deleted so you should understand that basic difference uh, this is all about truncate table and drop table hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching